As coronavirus case numbers decrease countrywide, cases of air rage are on the rise as more people are choosing to fly now. The FAA is saying that airlines are seeing thousands of altercations, mainly over mask mandates, but the agency is currently cracking down on that bad behavior. ABC's Andrea Fuji has more now from New York. As vaccination rates increase and coronavirus cases decrease across the country, more people are traveling by air. The TSA screening more than 2 million people on both Friday and Sunday. But also on the rise, mid-air confrontations. The FBI is investigating the latest scare when an off-duty flight attendant on leave allegedly threatened to take down a Delta plane. The passengers and crew restrained 34-year-old Stefan Jamar Duncan. Authorities believe he was having a mental health crisis. Delta Airlines CEO says the airline industry is seeing the results of the pandemic on passengers' emotional health. Customers are returning in such large numbers. Uh, we know the pandemic caused a lot of emotional uh, well-being challenges for a lot of people. So far this year, the FAA has received about 3,000 reports of unruly passengers. They say most incidents are due to passengers refusing to wear masks. We're on course in this year to have almost as many events as we have seen of unruly passengers in the entire course of aviation. Earlier this month, a passenger on a flight from Los Angeles to Nashville tried to break into a cockpit. <laughs> Passengers and crew detained the man until the plane safely landed in Albuquerque. To combat the rise of violence, some airlines are refusing to serve alcohol on flights. Southwest recently announced they'll ban alcoholic drinks because of air rage. And the FAA handing down big fines on those who cause in-flight disruptions.